Zara Tyndall shatters royal norms with bold move, Meg's kids left behind. Welcome to Royal Revelations. Kindly ensure you watch the entire video and share your opinions in the comments section. Zara Tyndall's daughter is striving to uphold a long-standing royal tradition, in contrast to Meghan's children, who are not partaking. Zara Tyndall was seen alongside her brother's former wife, Autumn Phillips, as they both participated in the 10th edition of the ISPS Hand a Mike Tyndall Celebrity Golf Day at the Belfry Golf Club in Sutton Coldfield. This joint effort by Zara and Autumn was aimed at raising funds for both the Cure Parkinson's Trust and the Matt Hampson Foundation, a charity that supports young individuals who have sustained serious injuries through sports activities. In a post, Zara referred to them as the day's most valuable players, a nod to their dedication. Like her husband Mike, Zara has previously expressed her desire for her children, Mia, Lena, and Lucas, to engage in a particular sport. Surprisingly, the chosen sport is neither rugby nor horse riding. During a guest appearance on the IMG Golf's Opinion Matters podcast, Zara disclosed that all three of her children are adept at swinging a golf club. Golf holds a special place within the royal family's interests in history. The sport has garnered significant attention and support from charity and community organizations as well. In the 18th century, King William IV played a pivotal role in establishing and elevating golf-related societies. The Royal Perth Golfing Society in Scotland was ennobled by him, and he also became the patron of the Society of St. Andrew's Golfers, which later became the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrew's. Particularly noteworthy is Zara's daughter, Mia Tyndall, who is keen on embracing the sport. Zara herself has supported the inclusion of female members within the professional golf community. This marks a significant shift for the Royal Golf Club, an institution that has, for 260 years, excluded women from membership. The Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews plans to address this issue in light of evolving attitudes and values. An upcoming vote by RNA members will determine whether women will be admitted, and it is expected that there will be considerable support for this change. Approximately 64 clubs worldwide hold British royal status while various countries, including England, Scotland, Australia, Canada, Ireland, South Africa, Wales, and the Channel Islands, have received this distinction, only a few, such as Royal Montreal in Canada and Royal Melbourne in Australia, possess truly exceptional golf courses. The latest additions to this list include the Marinska Luzon Golf Club in the Czech Republic, frequented by Edward VII, and the Royal Mayfair in Edmonton, Canada. As the British monarchy's younger generation contemplates their involvement in golf, the potential embrace of the sport by Prince William or even his wife would undoubtedly captivate enthusiasts. Considering the deep-rooted connection of the royal family with St. Andrews, the possibility of Prince William's wife becoming the Arne's first female captain would be a remarkable narrative. However, readers are advised not to hold their breaths in anticipation of this scenario.